we explain wet age-related macular degeneration meet sue sue is in her 70s now meet fred he's sue's son and primary caregiver and is responsible for helping sue carry out most of her day-to-day -day activities and her general well-being he's also responsible for organizing sue's healthcare appointments fred is concerned because even though sue has a number of health issues She's recently been complaining that her eyesight has been getting worse. Apart from general blurriness of her vision, she started to have trouble picking out colors. And even more worryingly, she's been experiencing visual distortion of lines. Fred fears that his mum may lose some of her sight. He's also concerned about the possible impact on her mental health as a result of being unable to read properly, Sue's favorite activity. It's important that Fred takes Sue to see an ophthalmologist as soon as possible. It sounds like she's suffering from some of the symptoms of wet age-related macular degeneration, or wet AMD for short. It's one of the leading causes of vision loss in the over 50s, affecting around 30 million people worldwide. Wet AMD affects the macula. This is the part of the eye responsible for central vision that allows a person to see details, identify faces, tell the time, drive or read. Wet AMD is associated with the abnormal growth of blood vessels. Eventually, the vessels leak fluid into the retina, affecting vision. If left untreated, scar tissue may develop that permanently harms the macula, having serious consequences on the vision of the sufferer. The symptoms of wet AMD may include distortion of objects or lines, blurred and reduced visual acuity, decreased color vision, increased glare sensitivity, and blank areas in the field of vision. If left untreated, wet AMD may lead to blindness. It's great that Fred took Sue's complaint seriously, as it's very important that wet AMD is diagnosed as early as possible. There are treatments available that could help Sue stabilize and even regain some of her lost sight and enjoy a better vision-related quality of life.